don't spend over five hundred dollars like me lah, huh? Olive Young can sometimes be a bit confusing and like where the hell is everything, you know? I mean now I think about it, I also think I go crazy. Yeah. <sighs> came back from Korea about like a week ago and I bought so 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 many things from Olive Young but it's much cheaper than Singapore think about it right my skin is oily dehydrated meaning it produces a lot of oil but uh, that's because uh, my outer layer is dry. Basically, I needed to find very hydrating products for my skin, mainly hydration. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I hope to help like you know others who have oily, dehydrated skin like me, who want to find like very, very hydrating products, or like people who just walk into Olive Young and need help. Okay, let's get started. Of course, you know you probably heard of the famous. Manio Cleansing Oil This is the very very first product I wanted to buy very much I bought one, I went back to try And I loved it so much that I went back and bought like <laughs> Two more bottles <laughs> So my friend thinks I'm crazy for buying three She thinks it's just too much, I only have one face But the thing is oil cleansers right, you need at least two pumps If you put makeup When you put on, yeah lah the Consistency is quite thick, but once you put water and like wash right, oh the number one the smell is very good. Number two after you put water right, it washes off very very easily. My Biore one um doesn't really have the same effect. Cleansing oil must buy. Number two, I also actually bought another very popular product, Vanilla's Clean It Zero. It had a very nice smell and it also like applied on very easily and washed off very easily. The thing is that when I'm in the shower already, I don't have to like you know, open and then I still have to dig for it and then I like, put it on. But if you prefer cleansing balms, this might be a product you want to try. Because it's very very popular also. There's like a scoop and it's like you know, balm like. Anyways, moving on. Next up, we have my favourite category, toner. I found my favourite, favourite favorite toner ever the famous Tokto toner by Round Lab but while watching all the YouTube videos right they literally take the product and they pour and they pour and I was like am I using too little toner? is that why my face is so dehydrated? I bought the toner I pour also I pour and pour <gasps> refreshing yeah I think like it, it really works wonders and my skin can actually absorb it it's also a very popular toner in Korea. It's been like cult favourite apparently. It's very suitable for Singapore or hot and humid weather. It was selling as a set with the Tokto moisturiser. Sad thing is I tried the moisturiser. It's a bit too rich for me and I feel like for Singapore climate. If you only want the cleanser, you can actually go to them and ask. I also got the Toridon Dive In Toner. The first day we went there, there was this like lady she was pushing Toridon products so so much so I tried both consistency some days or maybe at night when I use this it's also not bad lah but compared to like this is 500 ml this is 300 ml this is like two weeks I use two weeks but I still have this much you see all in all I really really love the Tokto toner next up toner pads toner pads are very very big in Korea the popular ones are like you know Abib's Heart Leaf Medicube's one, Paw Care I think. Um, Cell Fusion Tea is good for lowering temperature. I wanted to try that but I think I couldn't find it. And the, like, the carrot juice one. Carrot juice, don't know what one. I bought the round lab one. And the Fation. I don't know, the like, toner pads like, don't suit me. I thought it could replace mask. But that day, I put like two toner pads here. And I tried to squeeze out everything and I put it on my, all over my face. Wow! The, the, it just couldn't absorb into my face, you know. Not that I'm very disappointed, but I guess it's just not for me. Moving on! First thing I bought was the Dr. Jack Sika Pear uh, Serum. The texture and whatnot is all, it's all quite good. It's not very sticky. Um, it applies very well. The thing is, I realised, right? 
Dr. Judd right is good for acne prone skin. My my acne prone is like below here some. The most imp more important thing for me is to find hydrating products. I'm not really sure how like hydrating this actually is. So but Dr. Judd is very good for acne prone skin. So if you have oily dehydrated plus acne prone, Dr. Judd products is probably the way to go. The good thing about it is also that it comes with the pipette. Once you open it, the thing normally like automatically absorbs a certain amount into the pipette. All you have to do is press this out and they say this is enough for your whole face. See when you put it back, it locks back in. So this is very very helpful for people like me who do not know how, how much products I need to use on my face. So the second serum I bought is this Wellage Real Hyaluronic Blue Ampoule 100. I realized like what the hell is so big? It's so big! Dr. Judd is 30ml. This is 75ml. More than half eh. One thing about it is it is blue ampoule. So I'm not really sure if it's a serum or if it's an ampoule or like what is even the difference between the two. But I've been using it as a serum and I really love it because it doesn't have a sticky finish at all. It applies very very well. It's the most watery out of the serums that I've bought. If you have oily dehydrated skin, it's super super hydrating. Since it's cheap and good, recommend. On the last day, I actually spotted this the Alba First Spray Serum. And I was like, eh, it looks pretty. But the thing is, serum, right, I like to put like two layers. This one, I spray already. I feel like it, it unless I, it's not like, I can't, I can't get to the same like amount. So, I would still prefer my Wellage. Oh my, oh! I forgot. I, on the last day, I managed to get the Elusive Toridon Serum. Is it not here? Toridon, oh my god, I went to three different shops. They don't have the Toridon serum. Last day I visited the first shop again, which was near my house. They finally stocked up! I love it eh. I think it's very very good. It's not as watery as this, um, the Wellage one. But it somehow gives me the feeling that, um, quite a more refreshing feeling. And it's like, you know, ooh, like I'm actually like hydrating my skin, you know, like something good is going in. And you know, this has been raved about last. So I feel like it's not that expensive. And it's very, very good. Um, the thing is, it's very hard to get during my stay there. Not only that, don't have tester because it sold out. We'll see, uh, we'll see. Anyways, I have one, two, three, four serums to use on top of my old one. But I really, really love this. Uh. So, out of all the all the picks, um, all the things that I bought, uh, this and Wellage, I think it's quite good. Moving on. It's a bit iffy because the only moisturizer I bought there is the Toridon Dive In Soothing Cream. Now when I used it over there, now it's autumn in Korea, I felt it was so so good. Like the texture was like really really gelish and it was like absorbed into my skin well. The thing is after I come back right, it, it felt a bit richer than my current um, bio water. When I put this, I feel like it's a bit cooling. This one is like sometimes got, sometimes don't have. And I kind of regret not looking at other moisturizers. This is actually like a cult favorite also, like one of the like quite popular. And I would recommend trying it. Um, just that currently I'm still trying to experiment with it. I think weather-wise, uh, I'm just not feeling the same effects I felt when it was in autumn in Korea. So I will stick to this in the morning and this at night. I bought so much sun cream, so many brands also. One, two, I bought three, four, five, six, seven. I bought seven different types of sunscreens. Okay, Cell Fusion C is one that I really, really, really like. Because it's not only cooling, it also hydrates your skin really, really well. Yesterday when I used it, right, I think it was a little bit too much. Like it stung on my skin but I still like it I just think I shouldn't use as much one other one that I like right that didn't sting my face so far at all is the Nivea Sun Triple Protect Oil Control it all has oil control and I put makeup over it and it feels like very very nice and it has blue light effect protection 
So I would definitely recommend this and this. The one that I bought on the first day was the Round Lab. I think this is the Birch. But I bought the tone up version. The thing is I used it on my first day. And my skin like it stung you know on my skin. I came back to Singapore, I tried it another day. It also kind of stung. And I feel like the tone up effect like... I wanted more tone up effect. So I guess this is not really for me. But you can try it if you want. Or like you try the non tone up version. Anyways. Next. So I tried another one called this. Good Da Calming Heart Leaf Moisture Sun Cream. I don't think it was on any like YouTubers list. I literally just saw it. I tried it. And I was like, I think the texture is like very very nice. And very very like creamy and stuff. I think it's a bit... Um, a bit thicker than the Cell Fusion C one, but it's still definitely good lah. It has like hard leaf and calming moisture sun cream. The thing is, it doesn't beat this for me. I also bought the AHC Safe On Light Sun Serum. Wow, but the first day I used it, right, I used a bit too much and I think it's a bit stinging because it has like brightening and anti-aging effect. But this one, the texture, I really really loved it. It's like serum and it's very very hydrating. I'm not sure if I can put it with makeup, but this is one that I would try lah. It has brightening, anti-aging and it's very hydrating. It's quite hydrating also. Moving on, AHC Natural Perfection Fresh Sun Stick. This has a quite a good like finish, like it doesn't feel very very oily but the thing is in the morning I prefer to have cream in there this one like you know when I glide on I don't know whether where, whether it's there or not or like how much I glide on but this I think is will be very good for reapplication so I probably will bring this out and reapply it and the last one <laughs> the last one I bought is the Bring Green Tint Sika Tone Up Sun Cushion it's quite popular amongst the YouTubers and this one, when I bought it, it came 1 plus 1. So this is a refill pack. The thing is, I didn't try this yet because uh, I didn't want to open so many sunscreens. But um, I think it's worth a try if you're looking for a toner sun cushion. Yeah. So I also bought some Abib gummy sheet mask, which Abib is very famous for. And I also bought this round lab watery mask because, well, I was looking for hydrating masks. And these were less than 2,000 won. I also bought some Medihill collagen sheet masks for my mom and my aunt. I was also looking for makeup apart from skincare. So these were the two tinted lip balms that I bought. I also asked the staff which was the best selling concealer. And she pointed me to this brand Luna. On the last day, because Daiso ran out of these, I also got these filmy hair roll pins. Last but not least, because I spent so much money there, they gave me some money or freebies. So, top picks of my trip. Cleanser, definitely Manyo. It's oil cleanser. And if you don't see it on the shelves, you can just go there and ask them. Another popular brand, I think, is Numbu Jeans Oil Cleanser. I have not tried, but only only raves about it. A toner, definitely, you know. Tokto. I love this, if you can't already tell. Third thing, serum. I would say Tokto. And then close second is Wellage. Okay. Fourth thing, moisturizer. I only have two, la, my O1 and the Toridan Dive In. This one I can't really weigh. I, I still love this one. Mm. Fourth thing is sun cream. Definitely Cell Fusion C. And Nivea. Right? So, before I finish, some tips when you get go into Olive Young is that you can ask the staff to come over and recommend you products. So, say if I want sunscreen and I want hydrating, I literally went to the sunscreen section and be like, Hi, what is um the most hydrating out of the sun sunscreens? And they were like, okay, this is um uh, goes out very well, it's very popular. This one also, yeah, this one also, that one also, that one also, yeah, yeah, enjoy your shopping, then they leave. So it's very good because they have testers there, so you can test it, and most of them speak English, especially if you go to places like Myeongdong, Hongdae, and then you can make an informed decision about whether to follow them or whether you see this other product is nice, you want to test, and then you see, ah, maybe this is better, then you can buy. I went, I found this very helpful YouTuber called Uni Because she goes on this like Olive Young like 
tours right she literally brings you to olive young and she says this is good this is good this is new what ingredients there are and then the texture and stuff and then she also has a lot of fans watching from singapore which is hot and humid weather so she will say oh this is also good for hot and humid weather this is good for calming soothing hydrating so you can make more informed decisions okay so the popular brands in korea are uh round lab isn't tree self urgency good for lowering temperature dr jack for acne prone toridan rovectin rovectin i didn't buy though but i keep hearing that like some of their products are very good i think they're cleanser manio is good for their oil cleanser it's very famous abit's toner pads and masks are like popular One thing I learned is really that skincare should suit your needs and what you like. So people can recommend you all kinds of things but if it doesn't suit not only your skin but your routine and how you feel about it after that, then no point buying it. Lah. Basically, I'm very happy with the skincare products I bought. Not really so much about the amount I spent. Anyways, I hope you found this video informational. Yeah, I hope you can find like skincare products that suit your skin so that we all can have dewy and moist skin like the Koreans even in hot and humid weather. So yeah, till next time. Bye!